Hey, Grant Cardone, and welcome to uh, the Cardone Zone. Every Monday, I come to you to talk about real estate, money, your finances, and how to get yours. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you how to analyze your first deal. This is for beginners. If you're a beginner in real estate, if you've never done a deal, if you're hearing all these people talk about real estate, inflation possibilities, the destruction of the U.S. dollar, and you're looking for a safe place to put money and trying to figure out how to do your first deal, <clears throat> this is going to be how to analyze a deal. Okay, I'm going to make this as simple as I can. This is for beginners, but I would suggest to you that in real estate, um, it's really good to stay a beginner. You know, like like what what are the basic ingredients to find a good deal in a great location that cash flows, that appreciates, that provides me with tax write offs, that stays full, that doesn't give me headaches, that I can go to sleep at night and say, hey, I don't need to worry about that piece of real estate, and then you can go do your job, whatever your job is. You're a carpenter, plumber, chiropractor, dentist. You're out there freaking doing root canals or you're, you're, you're digging out sewers, or you're a trash collector, <clears throat> policeman, military, nurse, doctor, you don't have to worry about whether COVID's going to shut your job down or the economy's going to go to hell because you have a piece of real estate, a rental property. And for many of you out there, they're like, oh, it's over, man. They're all, the, all the properties are overpriced. I can't find a piece of property. I'm going to show you how today, how to find a deal and how to analyze that deal to make sure one, you can get a loan on the deal. Even if you don't, you don't have any money and you got bad credit, I'll show you how to do that today in this simple show. Mostly, I'm going to show you how to analyze the deal because if you analyze the right deal, you will get a loan. And I'm going to show you how to do this with like 3%, like no money. And I'm going to show you how to find a deal. I'm going to randomly pick some cities uh, to show you how to do this deal. Also, before I get into that, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Have that little bell turned on, whatever the bell is. Hit that. Uh, love your uh, and appreciate your comments every week. You guys bomb me with comments. Uh, there's a lot of callers on the show. I'll give you that phone number in a second. And I want to tell you that if you want more information like this, go to grantcardone.com forward slash REI, grantcardone.com forward slash REI. This is a free three hour training where I go into detail how to analyze these deals. So let's get busy analyzing a deal, okay? Let's say that we could find a deal. I'm just going to pick a deal for $70,000. <clears> if you found a one-unit deal, it could be one unit, by the way. You've heard me talk here about one unit, four units, eight units, 1632s. I'm famous for saying 30, stay with 16 or more, 32s ideal, and even bigger is bigger than that. But for those of you out there that are like, man, look, I don't want to start that big. I can't even think about it, okay? I don't have the money. I don't have the experience. I got to start with baby steps. I'm scared. Uh, this is what you would do. You'd find something to $70,000. You could probably do that deal with three to 5% down, which means you need 3,500 uh, max to buy that deal. Who can do that? Anyone can do that. Now, I suggest that you go ahead and find something in your marketplace so you know the city that you're looking at, okay? If you're in Houston, Sacramento, Bakersfield, uh, somewhere outside of Chicago, downtown Chicago, probably don't want to be there because they're killing people. Baltimore, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Atlanta. I'll just pick some random cities today. Nashville, Knoxville, Dallas, Fort Worth, Houston, Texas, or in the Galleria area, or you could go out to the Woodlands. You'll find a deal in those marketplaces if you know what to look for. So this is going to be our down payment right here. Anybody can find that money. I did my first deal with $3,500 down. I borrowed the entire $3,500 from my mother. I told my banker, I'm going to borrow the money from my mother. Is that okay? He's like, look, bro, as long as you come with $3,500, he probably didn't say bro, as long as you come with the $3,500 at closing and you tell me it's your money because your mother gave it to you, it's your money, we're going to count that as your down payment. I then, I then, you would then finance whatever the difference is, $67,000 basically, and you would finance this for 30 years. You'd get a 30-year loan on it. As a homeowner, you buying your first piece of real estate or second piece of real estate or third piece of real estate. You could do this 10 times, by the way. We're then going to show you how to analyze this deal to be sure it's a good deal. Now, I know some of you right now are thinking, there's no way to find a $70,000 deal. There's no way a bank's going to give me a loan with 3% down. And there's no way I know how to do this because I don't know if it's going to make money. That's what I'm going to do in this show today. But first, what I want to do, can you show my computer screen? Because I want to see by the end of this show what people would rather do. 
I'm going to ask a question on Twitter. Would you rather, can you show this? Would you rather win an iPhone 13? Is that, is that how you say iPhone? Yes, sir. How much is the iPhone 13? I don't need to put. Would you rather win a new iPhone 13 or get a $1,000 investment in one of my real estate deals? You know, there's going to actually be people that pick the damn phone. Uh-oh, what just happened to my game, okay? Yeah, hang on, we're going to do this. I want to see. What would you guys rather, by the way? Would you rather, and I'm going to see what they say on Twitter. Let's see how long I keep this open. Uh, iPhone, real estate deal. Let's see what people say, okay? Let me know what you would rather. Would you rather the iPhone or would you rather the real estate deal? Would you rather invest in a new iPhone post in survey. Okay, let's see what happens, okay? By the end of the show, remind me, Johnny, to go back to that because I want to see how many intelligent people still exist on this planet. You cannot, folks, make, get, create wealth buying phones and cars and belts, watches and shoes. Save that for later, okay? What you should do right now is you should figure out how to invest in the real estate where you live, in the community that you live in. If you live in Houston, Texas, you should start in Houston, Texas. If you live in Atlanta, start in Atlanta. If you live in Charlotte, start in Charlotte. So for those of you who live in those cities and you're like, yeah, but all the good deals are gone, Uncle G. Okay, well, actually, we're going to find some good deals. So the first thing, you got to know what you're looking for. Okay, so the first thing we got to do is find a deal. And then I got to know how to know what a good deal is. What is... A good deal. I've been buying real estate for 35 years. I have never, ever bought a bad deal, ever. I've made money on every single deal that I've done in 35 years. I can show you the history of every deal I've done. I bought over $3 billion, that's with a B, dollars worth of real estate. $3 billion worth of real estate and never, ever, up to this point, uh, lost money on a deal. Uh, every one of them cash flowed except for one. There was one deal that did not cash flow. I made $4 million on that deal. It was in Tucson, Arizona, and it was a terrible neighborhood. I bought the wrong neighborhood, but I did make a score at the end. It, it broke even, paid the expenses, paid the debt, maybe a tiny little bit of cash flow, almost immeasurable, uh, but then we made uh, uh, some money on the exit. Okay, so I need to know the deal. What am I looking for? What's a good deal? And then how do I get it financed? How do I get it financed? And how do I get cash flow on the deal? Okay, so let me just go through. Let me find some deals. I'll keep this up here. And then let me find some deals that might make sense here. I'm going to go to Zillow. Okay, Zillow is my friend. And I'm going to put in Houston Galleria and see what comes up. Houston Galleria, I'm looking for for sale. This is a Zillow app. Everybody's got it on their phone, completely free. This is not a special piece of technology. And then I'm gonna start low to high. And all I'm doing right now is disrupting for all of you out there say there's no good deals left, okay? The first deal that comes up right here is a 1,040 square foot townhome it's unit number one, so it must be a bunch of townhomes stacked. My sister used to live in townhomes. My sister, by the way, bought a townhome. I think it was 1113 Fountain View 30 years ago, and she paid $60,000. 30 years ago. It, that, 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 that thing's worth probably three hundred grand today because of its location. Now, I do not know, in all fair disclosure, I do not know the location of this deal, but I'm going to show you how this deal would work. First of all, I would tell you, just looking at this piece of real estate right here, there's tremendous opportunity in that piece of real estate right there. I just know because I know, because I know what I would do here. Fresh paint. What would you do, Johnny? Man, I, I'd, I'd put up a, you know, do a little landscaping, see all that dirt there. I'd That's right. Some nice bushes. That's right. I mean, I'd fix the roof. That's right. I'd try to make it pop. I think the roof's fine. I, I think these need to be painted. The exterior needs to be painted. That shake, that cedar shake, by the way, okay, it gives a cool cottage look. The white brick over there, that's probably the unit next door, okay? The floors, go ahead, Johnny. Maybe white picket on the fence instead of that, that, that jail looking. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like the white picket fence, okay? 
Um, the floors here need to be ripped up, no problem. You're going to put down a, a simulated wood right in here. People are going to love that. You're going to rent this uh, to somebody. You're going to put, you're going to leave the cabinets the way they are, probably take the, box, the, t the, the front of the boxes off and replace them over at Home Depot for about 400 bucks. Uh, you're going to pull up this linoleum. You're going to paint those walls. You're going to fix this ceiling right here. You're going to get some lighting in this deal. And this is how the deal would work, okay? This deal is $69,000. Let's say it's $70,000. That's exactly what I said. 3% is a down payment on this. That's $2,100 is a down payment. Who's got $2,100? Everybody's got $2,100. Okay. If you quit buying iPhones, you'd have the $2,100. That's going to be your down payment, and you're going to finance $70,000 less $2,100 equals $67,900. That's going to be your debt. Okay, $69,700. I'm going to go into my little mortgage calculator in here. Let's see if I got it open. Mortgage calculator. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, 69,700 times 0 0.0055 equals, yeah, 383 a month. That's going to be your payment. But let me see what my mortgage calculator says. Do I have one open? There you go. Mortgage calculator. $69,700. Is that what I'm doing? $67,900. If you guys enjoyed this show, if you like this, oh, the payments are 308. I said they were 383. I'd rather be high, by the way. Um, this says an interest rate of 357. I'm going to take that down to 325. I think I can get a loan for 325 right now. That takes the payments down to 300, okay? But you still have property taxes and you got insurance. So I'm going to basically have a payment of 300 bucks a month here. 300 to 400 dollars a month okay let's just go ahead and use the 400 because i got property taxes i probably got some hoa fees on this this deal let's just go back and look i'll bet you i got 250 dollars worth of hoa fees on this property let's just find out 20 days in the market 1900 views 228 dollars in monthly hoa fees okay so now i got 228 in monthly hoa fees so now my payments, and, and let's go ahead and add another $100 for insurance. They're going to want that on your first deal. And so I have property taxes. Uh, I think that'll be included in my mortgage payment. Maybe not. Let's go ahead and add 2% uh, of 6,000, 2% 0.02 times $70,000. I'm going to figure that. That's $100 a month, another $100 a month for property taxes. So I got 300, 528, 628, $728. That's the payment every month, okay? Now, what do I need to figure out? I need to figure out, can I rent this place? Can I even rent it? And what would it be worth to rent a two-bedroom, two-bath, 1,000 square feet in Houston, Texas? Let me see the neighborhood here. Doesn't matter that it was built in 1965. The phone number here, by the way, is 305-865-8668. Let me see where this thing is located. There's the map. Let me see where this is. Fondren and Gilton and Gil, Gul, Gulfton. Let me see this address. I'm doing this in real time, so apologize for the, for the, what is it? The reality of the situation takes a minute sometimes. Okay, here's my, here's my location in Houston. I actually know Houston fairly well because we've got about 1,200 units there now. So Sharpstown, Chinatown, West Park. I don't really know this market right here, this part of the market. Oh, this is, this is West Houston, just out, outside of Bel Air. Great neighborhood? No. Will somebody pay 1200 bucks a month? Maybe. Would they pay 1000 Who thinks they'd pay $1,000 for this place? 1,000%. Okay, so watch what I got now. I got a place that I'm going to earn $12,000, $1,000 a month times $12,000, $12, okay? Now, there's, there's a thing called the gross rent multiplier. If you divide $12,000 divided by the $70,000 I paid for the property, that is what's called a 17x gross rent multiplier. The higher that rent, rent, rent multiplier is, some would say the better the deal. There's also a thing called the 1% rule. The 1% rule says if you pay 
of the purchase price, purchase price, the rent, okay? If the rent is $1,000, I could pay $100,000 for the property to give me the 1% rule. In this case, I'm getting $1,000 for the rent and I'm only paying 70,000. Watch, 1,000 divided by 70,000 is a 1.4 of 1.4, which is 140%, okay? It's a 1% rule or a 1.4% rule, which means I'm 40% better than the rule. And I've always said, if you can find something that, that still adheres to the 1% rule, then you should buy the whole neighborhood. So you could literally feel, figure out how could I literally 10X my portfolio and start with this deal. So watch what happens here. $12,000 a year, what am I paying? I'm paying $7.28 a month. 728 a month times 12. All I got to do is find one renter. 12,000 less 8,763. That's the note. That's the property taxes. That's the HOA fees. And I'm making $3,237 per year. What did I put down? Let me see what was my down payment. I forget now. I think it was $2,100. I get my down payment back in year one plus divided by 3,700. Uh, yeah, that's a basically 150% uh, return on my money in year one. Next year, next year, I'm going to have my down payment back that I put down and I'm earning $3,200 a year, 300 bucks a month. And all I did was put $2,100 down. So maybe you could borrow the $2,100 from your mama. Pay you, say, Mama, I had your money back in one year. Pay your mama the money back in one year out of the real estate. And then every year after that, you own this. If I could figure out how to do this 10 times, I would be earning $3,000 a month, not $300 a month. And if you could wait 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, and keep waiting for that portfolio to go, you would now own, you'd be earning $3,000, $36,000 a year. I'm taking this out 10x. You would own $700,000 worth of real estate if you could put 10, 10 of these together. And you're on your way to being a millionaire, okay? Now, I showed you how to start with $2,100, and I showed you how to do this in Houston, Texas. Let me pick another random city, okay? Let me go with, let me go with Atlanta. I'm going to go Atlanta, and let's see what I come up with. 305-865-8668 if the phones aren't full, okay? Uh, we're talking about how to analyze a deal. Does it work? Okay, again, I, I'm at one disadvantage right here. I do not know the location of the market. Some markets are not worth $59,000, by the way. But at some point, they're worth something. Because there is a shortage of affordable homes in America today. If you guys are hearing people like blacks, all the big institutions today, trillion dollar institutions are gobbling up homes that people used to buy. Now they're buying them up and they're renting them to other people. You guys got to get involved in this game. This is a way to protect yourself against inflation, get passive income, and start, start getting the benefits of appreciation over long periods of time. So here's a place in Atlanta, townhouse for sale on Fairburn Road. I don't know where that is. Might be worth getting on a plane and going over there, though. Okay, here's a place for sixty-four thousand. For those of you out there, like, oh man, I can't find any for sixty grand. I just found two of them. Here's one for eighty-two thousand. Personally, I like this one right here. I don't know. I like that baby blue, Johnny. What do you think? It makes me feel. Makes me gives me some sense. I would paint this light blue, by the way. Keep those red panels up there. The wind, the glass is fine. On that last deal that we showed you in Houston, you do need to spend some money on that deal. But some of that could be Home Depot stuff. Some of that could be you going to Home Depot uh, and, and fixing some stuff yourself. Man, I don't mind doing a little work myself. Maybe you and the spouse and the kids get out there and paint the place. Maybe you plant some shrubs, man. So, so what if you spend two grand planting, landscaping, and, and, and another, another uh, two or $3,000 in that little house? And maybe the rents aren't $1,000, by the way. What if those rents on that last deal, what if those rents are on $1,000? What if those rents are actually, did I use $1,000, Johnny? Yeah. What if those rents on that deal, 
What if I make that place really cute and I get $1,400 a month and my payment's $750 or whatever it was. That's $650 a month times 12. That's $8,000 a year in free cash flow because I went and spent some money on the property. Let me just see what it would have cost me on that and then I'll go back to Atlanta. Okay, I need new floors. Okay, that's twelve hundred bucks. I need new cabinet doors. That's uh, four hundred dollars. Keep keep track of this. Twelve hundred, uh, four hundred. Um, you know, I'm probably gonna take out this old white sink. It looks terrible. I'm gonna put some more paint on the walls right there. I'm gonna use the same floor in the bathroom that I used in the in the in the other room. What is this room, man? Oh man, this room is nasty. Wow, is that a basement? What is this? Is this a bedroom? No, that's a garage. That's got to be a garage, right? Damn, I got two car garage. Okay, so all I'm going to do is put a bunch of baseboard right there, plywood, not plywood, uh, what's it called, the white stuff? Sheetrock. I'm going to sheetrock these walls. Man, what is that going to cost me? 400 maybe? Right? I'm going to put, I'm going to probably, I'm going to spray the, the ceiling here so it's going to disappear. Uh, got a nice little tree right there. I don't need to do anything to the backyard. Maybe put a trampoline up there in the back. Oh, I got a trampoline. Let me see here. And let's see what else we got to do. Oh, yeah, I got to paint the exterior. I got to, I don't need to fix those windows. I need to put some landscaping in front. Just like Johnny said, I need some shrubs. I need to paint the fence white. So what am I going to spend here? Two grand? Well, without the exterior, you got 2000 Yeah, so, so, man, the roof's fine. And I'm off to the races. If I can make it cute enough to where I could rent it for $1,400, folks, notice now my deal is making me $700 a month, $8,000 a year. It's making me $8,000 a year, and I only put $2,100 down. You know what that is? That is 4X on my money without me being in the stock market or without my money sitting in some, in some bank dying. So for all of you out there, are like, how do I get started in real estate? Uh, you get started in real estate by investing in a deal and deciding that iPhones aren't as important to you. Let me see how my poll's going. iPhones aren't as important to you as buying real estate. Uh, yeah, 665 people have voted on this. 89% have said that they would rather a real estate deal than an iPhone. Maybe I should do that sometime, Johnny. Start giving away real estate investments. That'd be cool. You want one, Johnny? I do. Okay. And pin from your profile. Okay. So uh, we'll see how many people vote on that. All right. Okay. So let's find another deal. Let's go back to Atlanta. We probably got some callers, right, Johnny? We are stacked. Stacked and back. Okay. Here's the deal. There's a price cut on this deal. Three grand. So they're not getting the action they want. Unit number 38. It's a townhome. It's for sale. It's been on the market. <laughs> 27 days and they've already cut the price. What is the hurry? 3,600 views. There's some people looking at this thing. Beautifully renovated, member-owned cooperative, no rentals. Oh, can't rent this. Is that what it's saying? Hmm. So, you know what we should do? We should move on to the other red spots on the map. There's a few of them. For all you guys out there that have quit, man, in your minds, you're like, I cannot, I, how, how am I going to do this? All the good stuff's gone. Folks, look at this. For all of you that keep hearing, there's no property to buy. Everything's overpriced. Well, what about all this stuff? I mean, if you're going to quit before you start, The most important thing is to start and know you can find a deal, okay? So uh, fit, one minute ago, uh, a property was put on the market, $55,000. You, your parents paid $55,000 for the house you live in right now. The house you wanted to get out of so bad. Where is this? Oh, that's the only picture they got, okay? So let me find something where we can all get all, we can all, get all juicy about uh, 84,000, 100,000. See, that's a cute little house to me right there. This thing's cool. This is going to be for somebody that's got some criminal record, wants to hide out in the woods, probably smoking crack on the weekends. Who knows what they're doing? 
Maybe they just want to get out of the city. This could be a COVID retreat house. I kind of like this place. This is stuff I like. Like, I like the landscaping setup right here because I can throw some trees up. This place is going to, this is called deferred maintenance. Completely ignored. You never know what somebody wants to do in this house. Maybe this is going to be an e-commerce house. They got a little dog park on the side. The fence was blown out. Uh, look at this, man. This is nothing but opportunity. What do you guys see? Y'all see problems? I see opportunity. Oh, man, the bank's going to hate this deal. They're going to be like, man, you got problems. You got issues here. But I wanna, I'm, I'm interested in this thing. Hey, what could I do? Nobody else is going to buy this thing. They want 100 grand. Watch what I could do with this deal. For you flippers out there, flippers and trippers, you're trying to get your bankroll. Let's say I buy this thing for $60,000 and I spend 20 grand on it. And you know how much I can do for 20 grand? New bathrooms, new kitchens, new grills, new appliances, barbecue pit in the outground. I could pour a big concrete slab in the background. I might be able to put a little drop-in pool back there, okay? Put a little side pool, put a little jacuzzi in there, build up a big deck. For 20 grand, I could build a deck in the back. I could do a completely new interior, new roof, new paint. Okay, I could put a damn fence. People love fences, especially Republicans. Give a, give a Republican a fence and they happy. A fence and a place to barbecue. We in the woods so they can bring their guns. I'm just saying, man, give people what they want, okay? Now, let's say I do a good job on this joint. I got $80,000 invested in it. I'm going to go to the bank. I'm going to fix it. I'm going to tell the bank, oh, my lights just went out. Hey, man, I got 80 grand in this deal. Maybe you and a buddy each put 10,000 in. Lights went out in here. But the light looks good, actually, Johnny, without those lights on, okay? So I got to go to the bank, and I'm going to be like, hey, I'm going to put $4,000 down. I need to finance 76000 bucks. Let's see what the note's going to be. Now, I'm just giving you two different examples. The first example was you only needed 2100 This time you need twenty grand, and you're going to go to the bank. And you're going to go to the bank and say, I got 20 grand in this deal, okay? I, I, I rehabbed it. Maybe you and a buddy each put 10000 up. Oh, oh, you had to buy it, right? Okay, maybe you went to the bank and said, look, I'm going to buy this deal. It's 60000 I need to put twenty in it, okay? It's going to take me 60 days to fix it, and then I'm going to take it, and I'm going to live in it. Between now and the 60 days, you, you're going to probably have somebody come to you and say, hey, I want to rent the place from you. And because you made the place so cute, so freaking awesome, they're going to be like, let me, let me just go in the neighborhood. I get all, man, I get all excited now. Let's see what else is in the neighborhood. Where's this beast at? You see that green button right there? That's where that thing is. Let's see, where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Come back. Come back to me. See that? See, it's right there. There it is. You got, you got houses in this <coughs> neighborhood that are $120,000. 130, 136, 275, 263. If I'm in the right neighborhood right now, let me just go back down here. Let me go back down here. Where, where, are, we, where are we at? Where are we at? 100,185. You guys see this right here? This is my neighborhood right here. I got 125 in the neighborhood, 179 in the neighborhood, 240, 185 across the street, 190, 270. Let's say, let's say I scored this deal, eighty thousand dollars all in. I went to Johnny, said, Johnny, you give me 10. Nate, you give me 10. I get 10 from my boys over there in the video room, and I'm like, I'm gonna go do all the work because I know what I'm doing. I'm gonna go to Home Depot this weekend and get a bunch of paint, shrubs. I'm going to get some buddies out there. We're going to go sand this place. Maybe everybody does the work and they become partners. Maybe what we do is I get two guys that have 10000 and the third group, hey, man, we're going to split this, chop this bad boy up. We're going to have thirds. You one third, you one third, and we're going to do the work. And three of us are going to go Saturday and Sunday for the next four weeks and fix this place. One guy's going to do the interior. One guy's going to do the exterior. One guy's going to put a fence up, and we're going to all chop up the profits. Let's just say I could pull this off, okay? And then I'm going to get a tenant, okay? I got 70, I know I can borrow $76,000 on this. $76,000 on my mortgage calculator. Let 
$76,000 gives me a payment of $331 a month. Do you think somebody's going to pay me at least $331 to pay a month? $331. That's the mortgage. That's just the mortgage, okay? Let's add $300 for uh, insurance. Uh, let's add $100 for, for taxes. I'm at $700 a month. Is somebody going to pay $700 a month for newly painted, new appliances, new floors, new walls, new fence, barbecue pit, some cool shit outside? Put some damn swings out in the trees in the back. Put some targets up in the trees for the Republicans, okay? Y'all can go out there and shoot, man. We out in the country now, man. People want to get outside, right? So watch. I'm paying $700 a month. What's somebody going to pay for this place if it's special? 1000 bucks? What do y'all think, guys? Dude, what if, what if we could do this deal? What if we could put a tenant in this deal? Remember what we got in it. Let's say that we stole the deal. Somebody's going to steal it. Nobody wants this thing. And let's say somebody pays us $1,500 a month times, uh, 1500 times 12. That's $18,000 a year. I'm just ifing. I'm just ifing, okay? And I go to the bank and say, hey, man, I got a tenant on this deal. I got a tenant on this deal, and I want to get a loan on it. Uh, I need, I need, uh, how much do I need to put down? They're like, oh, you got to put 10% down or 20% down. I'm going to show you a different situation. I wouldn't buy it like this. The way I would buy it is I would buy it that I'm going to live in it. I'd go get the, fix it up and get the loan on it with 5% down. 5% down is $4,000 down and I'm going to finance $76,000. I'm going to tell the bank, look, I want to pay this loan off in the next three to five years. Oh, why you want to pay it off so quick? Because that's what I want to do. But I want a 30-year mortgage, but I want the right to be able to pay it off in the next two to three years. Now, watch what I'm going to do. $76,000. Yeah, there it is. My payments are going to be $331 a month, plus $100 for property tax, another $100 for, I don't know, just throw in something, $531. But I'm making $1,500 a month. So $18,000 a year less $6,000 a year equals... What is that, 6,000? Yeah, 6,000, uh, let's put 7,000. I'm making 13, no, 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 12, no, 11. $11,000 a year. So I'm gonna close the deal, I'm gonna act like I'm gonna own it, cause I wanna own it, cause I'm so excited, and then some guy's gonna come along and say, dude, I'll, I'll rent that place for 1,500 bucks. I'm gonna be like, yeah, it sounds like a good deal. Let's do that. Then I'm going to call the bank and say, I got a guy that wants to rent from me rather than me living there. You cool? And they're going to be like, we cool, dude. Just make the, make the paymentos. I just rented my house where I lived down the street. I was going to sell my condo, and I rented it. The guy paid me 12 months of rent in advance. He's like, here's the check. I don't want to pay you every month. Here, bang. It was, a, it was a big check. What do you think my rent is on my little plate, my little condo? Who can guess what I rented my thir number 33, unit 33 at Regalia, entire floor, 5,500 square feet for in Miami with 360 degree views from Fort Lauderdale to Miami all the way to the Atlantic Ocean and the Caribbean. What do you think I got, Johnny? Johnny, do you know? Don't say if you know. I don't know, but I'm going to guess. I'm gonna guess. Jo don't guess. Let everybody else guess. What do you think I got? Uh, unit number 33, you can find it on the internet, 19575 Collins Avenue. Uh, sunny, sunny Isles called the Regalia condo. What do you think somebody paid me for that? Because I'm going to tell you, it was more than I thought anybody would pay. And thank you, by the way, for doing that. Because I was going to sell the place. And then all of a sudden, man, the income from it got so good. I'm like, I don't want to sell it. I want to keep it. So you have the right to do that when you buy real estate. I'm just showing you simply how to analyze a real estate deal. Remember the 1% rule, okay? If you buy something for 80000 and you can rent it for 1%, $800 a month. That's 1%. That is a no-brainer deal. That deal is going to work. If you can rent for 1% of what your price is, you got a good deal. Now, I, I buy stuff. Can you show them that deal I'm buying right now? For, for probably half of 1% of the 1% rule. But I know we're going to make a fortune on this deal. Man, that's a long video, Johnny. Can, man, I don't want to see them. Yeah, that's it. It's just still shot right there, Johnny. 456 units. Let's go ahead and steal it. Johnny, can you freeze it? 456 units. Triple A location. This is the single best location in South Florida, without a doubt. Unquestionably, undeniable, nobody would argue with me. 
The quality of the asset is freaking crazy. 456 units. You can literally kayak up to the property. You can grab a kayak from the building, grab a snack from the grocery store, and get on a kayak and go to the Atlantic Ocean. You can take your kayak, get out, park at the apartment building, and walk one block and be at 35 different restaurants. It's called 10X Las Olas Walk. The single best asset I've ever bought in my entire career. Go ahead, Johnny. Come back to me. Okay? I think we got 130,000 people driving in front of the property every single day. I'll close on that here in the next 30 days. So that deal is probably a half a percent because my rents there are 20, 2250 and they'll go up. 2250. And yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, it's half a percent. Because I'm paying, yeah, ha half of my rent goes to the price of the property. 1%, the 1% rule says if $800 is the rent that you can get and you're paying $80,000, go for it as long as you know the, location, know the location. Let's talk to some of our callers. I'm analyzing a deal today, a simple deal for our investors. This is a way to analyze your first deal. Call me up with your first deal, 305-865-8668. What we got, Johnny? We do this, we do this with our uh, investors in our club every Wednesday, by the way. 12 times a year. Hey, Nicole, how you doing? I'm great. How are you? Good. Can you raise it, Johnny? I can't. I can't. Do you have a deal, Nicole, or do you have a, uh, a, a question? I have a question. Okay. Okay. Um, I have companies. I'm a nurse practitioner and I own rural health clinics. Uh, my CPA has uh, had me put money into simple IRAs, basically tax deferment. My husband's employee has a 401k. We have a good bit of money sitting in those accounts, and I was wondering is there a way, I know you're not a CPA, but is there a way to transfer those money into real estate? Or yes, could so we start using that, instead so of doing a simple IRA or 401k, could we use that money and start putting it into real estate? Because I feel like yeah. there's a much better return on our money. We do have a couple of single-family homes. Yeah. That we are currently renting out by the bedroom in Louisiana. Yeah. Um, and just wondering if you've had any experience doing that. So, Nicole, uh, is that a self directed IRA or is it, or are you working for a company and they control the IRA? Um, I have my own company, so uh, it's self directed. Yeah. So, if you have a self directed IRA, how much money is in your IRA? Um, about 315000 so we, about 25% of the people that invest with us, the monies that come into Cardone Capital is from self-directed, mm -hmm. exactly the way you're set up, uh, where what happens is, who are you with? What, what group are you with? Um, American Funds. Yeah, so we, what you would do is you would send a le letter to the America Funds. Uh, it, would get, uh, it would get transferred. You would basically say, I want to transfer my IRA account to Providence. I think Providence Trust Fund is a group that we use. Mm -hmm. the, the 315 will get moved over to Providence, and then you would tell Providence, I want to invest in Cardone Capital. And that's ex exactly how you could do it with us. Or you could take that money mm -hmm. self-direct into, into a, a Providence-like trust. Providence-like trust would then give you the wherewithal to invest in any deal that you, you, uh, you, you as a self-directed member of your IRA and controlling member of your IRA would then direct that money. Now, the reason why you guys with IRAs want to do this and the reason Nicole's asking it, and she said, I think I can get a better return from an investment in real estate than I can an IRA. This is what she would do. $315,000 would buy $1,200,000 worth of real estate. She would immediately get a 4X lift off of her retirement account. She cannot do that in stocks. You cannot do that in the stock market, paper stocks, uh, Bitcoin, uh, bonds. She can't invest like this. $315,000. What, what, city, what city in Louisiana are you in, Nicole? Turnham and Crowley, it's between Lafayette and Charles. Yeah, so not a great renter's market, even though you're probably having a lot no. of success there. <laughs> See, what you really want, everybody, when you're analyzing your real estate market is what you want is positive job growth, okay? You want jobs around you. You want some reason people want to go there and rent. 
And um, let me just, what city are you in? Crowley, C-R-O-W-L-E-Y. Yeah, okay, I know where Crowley is. So if you go to Crowley, you know, you're just not going to see a lot of attention for Crowley. I'm not saying it's not a great place. But no, it, it's definitely not a place that um, I'm trying to find single family homes or even a multi family yeah. home. Yeah, people aren't um, leaving but, New York and going to Crowley, right? Exactly. So, <laughs> so here, you two, four, six. I mean, there's no homes for sale there either. So, here's a house mm -hmm. right here for sixty thousand dollars in Crowley. Now, she needs a million dollars. She needs a million dollars, not sixty nine thousand. So, she's going to take and transfer her entire three fifteen. What I would do if I were you guys, okay, I would find somebody like me that's doing these big deals so that your transaction produces a multiplier for, for your money. This money is going down in value. I know you know that. Right. 40% of those dollars were not in circulation a year ago of the U.S. dollars. They did not have the competition of 40% of the new babies that were born. So that devalues the dollar. You guys are getting chomped up over there. Paper assets, ETFs, mutual funds, these things that you're probably invested in right now, or are you just sitting in cash? Um, it's just sitting in cash. Yes, because you're scared of the stock market, and I don't blame you. I would be too. There's, right. there's about $7 trillion sitting in a, a retirement accounts and cash accounts right now, just sitting there doing nothing but dying. So what I would do is I would take the 315, invest it over here. Like that deal I'm showing you right now, that deal will probably earn, I can't promise this, the deal that I just showed you would probably earn $18,900 a year. That money then, Nicole, would go back into your retirement account as cash. How old are you guys? 47. Yeah, 47. So you would get a cat, you would get a deposit back into that retirement account, but your capital is protected, your retirement account is protected, and you're gonna take advantage of real the 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 real property going up in value doing an inflative state. Kind of holding this back is I've been listening to all the podcasts and everything and you're trying to find areas that are appreciating value. Yeah. Um, places that cash flow. Um, places that are growing. And in Louisiana, there's not a whole bunch of that. No, you, so you, you just don't have it there. Out of um, state. Yeah. You, you got problems in Louisiana, right? Like, like you know, I, I grew up there, so I'm not, I'm not beating it up. So the markets you could be looking at right now, Dallas, clo that are close to you. Dallas, Nashville, um, the, the, the Gulf Coast, the Alabamas, the Alabamas has got a bunch of job growth that's right around you, just north of you, northeast of you. Florida is on fire. It is the number one apartment market in the country today, bar none. There's nothing better. Like I wasn't saying this three months ago. I'm telling you guys right now, I'm talking to people every day. I'm talking to the lenders. They want to be in Florida, Orlando, Tampa, South, uh, South Florida, uh, Fort Lauderdale, Naples, Florida, Sarasota, Fort Myers, the entire state of Florida is on fire. So if we can help you and your husband, what's your husband's name, Nicole? Okay. Um, make sure we got our number. Johnny, I don't know if there's a way to get it, but Nicole, I would love to have you guys as investors. This deal I'm doing right now in Fort Lauderdale, this thing is a beast. Uh, this thing is just, can you show this, Johnny? It's got the largest pool deck in all of South Florida. Triple A location, triple A amenities. The tenant, the tenant here only pays 16% of their income in rent. Now, this is a very important indicator when you're analyzing a good deal. What's a good deal? When you analyze the deal, you can't just analyze the property. You got to analyze the rent to income ratio. Uh, about half of America has over a 50% rent to income ratio. Here in, here in Florida, you got some people paying 70% of their income is paid in rent. So that's a problem, right? At this property, 16%, 15.9% of the person's income, uh, the, the rents are 2,500 divided, if I divide by 16%, 
their income is $156,000. I know people, I know people in Miami, they're making 80,000 a year and they're paying $48,000 in rent. So if you divide 48,000 by 80,000, they're paying 60%. These people are paying 16%. That's a very, very important indicator um, when, when you're investing in real estate. So the things you want to look at, gross rent multiplier. You want to look at cash flow on a deal. You want to look at the NOI on a deal. Remember our little deal that we did? Go ahead and get me my next caller, Johnny. Uh, remember my, my NOI on the deal? This, uh, this deal right here, the 80000 No, this deal right here. Uh, the the $18,000 of free cash flow, less my expenses to, to, to buy the deal. My NOI right here on this, on this $1,500 a month, Fifteen hundred times twelve. Fifteen hundred times twelve is eighteen thousand. I'm probably going to pay maybe five thousand, six thousand. Let's say six thousand dollars a year in uh, in um, expenses to operate this deal. This is eighteen thousand. That's what's called the NOI. The NOI tells you what this property's value is worth in the future. So if this was an eight cap. 12,000 divided by an eight cap. I'm just making that up. It means this property is worth $150,000 today. Meaning if somebody wanted an 8% on return on their money, they could pay you $150,000. What did we pay for this deal? 60 plus 20, 80, we made 70 grand on that deal. Okay, my NOI on my portfolio By the end of this year, will be $144 million. That's the NOI on the deal. Okay, what is that? That is the gross rent less the expenses equals NOI. So when I'm buying real estate, I'm looking to grow my NOI because the NOI determines the value of the property. If you take the NOI and divide it by the cap rate, I'm getting a little complicated now, I'm losing some of you, right? You're like, wham! Just go back to the first deal I did. It's the same deal I did when I was doing a deal. I did a deal for $75,000 and I put $3,500 down. But over time, you're going to start wanting to grow this business because this business is something you can buy, go to sleep, wake up tomorrow, next month, and get a check. As long as the property stays full, as long as it's in a good location, you're cool. Take care of the tenant, take care of the property, take care of the lender. If you, if you divide that number by whatever cap rate you want, whatever you think my properties are worth, I'm buying the single best properties that you can purchase in the United States of America. Best locations, best properties, best debt, best loans, best tenants, best everything. And some people say, yeah, you're just buying the good stuff. Exactly. Because that's what all the other super wealthy trillion dollar companies are doing. Let's talk to our next caller. We got new Oh, man, and that is a crazy real estate market. Nuhu, what's going on? What's up, Uncle G? Thank you so much for taking my call. Mo Maloha. Aloha, aloha. <laughs> All right, so I have a question. Molokini. Um, Molokini, yep. You can swim there from here. Tell me about your deal, man. All right, so I have a deal. Um, it. It's a great location. I absolutely love the location. Um, it is 2319 Ala Y Boulevard, A L A W A I Boulevard. Okay. Uh, what's, what, what, what's, what's the, what's the, what's the, what's the, the, the address? 2319. Ala Y Boulevard, A L A A L A. Ala Y Boulevard. Okay. Yes. Okay, man, I got to come to Hawaii. I love that place. Everybody loves Hawaii. Now we love you here in Hawaii. Yeah, I, I need to know that, man. This is on the south side. Yeah, this is on the south side. This is in Waikiki. <clears throat> okay. So what am I looking at here? I'm looking at a one-unit deal. Uh, it's a it's a twenty-one unit. Oh, okay. It's 21 units. 
Uh, 21 is it 2319? Yeah. 2319 Ala Waya Boulevard. It's on, it, it should be on LoopNet. The listing is on LoopNet. Okay. Yeah, I see it now. I see it. I got it. It's a little little building, two unit, two yeah. multifamily buildings containing 21 apartments, 10 parking stalls. Okay. What's the price on this little beast? This thing is eight million with a two point eight eight cap rate. Okay, so let's go ahead and analyze this deal. Okay, we got an eight million twenty one unit deal, eight million bucks. So I'm going to start analyzing the things that are important to me. Uh, first of all, I'm going to analyze the property per unit price. What, what's what's a home cost in that neighborhood? Uh, well, a lot of them are apartments, so there's no single family homes in that Waikiki area. Yeah. Um, you would need to go outside of it. So, okay. So th mean, this is—is is this a, a, a? I own the property. Do I own the land underneath it, or just the, just the building? Yeah, this is a, a, a fee simple. Fee simple. Okay. So look, when I asked him, "Hey, what is the cost to buy a house there?" He said, "Oh, you can't buy a house there. Everything's partnerships, and it's all land leases. You don't own property in Hawaii." Mm -mm. Okay, I remember I went to Hawaii when I was 10 years old. My dad died. My mom took us to Hawaii. Man, I got, I fell in love with this bartender. She was so hot. I was, I was 10. It was, a, it was that Davy Club. What, what's that little, uh, it's underneath the Hilton, I think. Uh, uh, you go downstairs. What's it called? I don't know. I'm not too sure. Okay. All right. So let me get back to this. What's, what's the rent going to be at this deal? Uh, the average rents are about sixteen hundred. Um, there's a, it's actually a mix. Wow, dude, there's that's cheap, there's... right? I'm sorry. That's cheap. That, it seems cheap to me. I'm on the water. Look at this. Yeah. How can these only be sixteen hundred dollars? Why? Why aren't these four grand? They're on the opposite side of Waikiki Beach, so that water right there. Yeah. Probably wouldn't want to swim in it. That water but you what? can walk to Waikiki Beach in like five minutes. So what, dude? You said you probably don't want to swim in that water. Yeah, so you're, you're right. I think rents are grossly you know, undervalued. Yeah. What, what are the rents on the beach? I mean, you just can't buy a home on the beach. There's no way, right? Yeah, I mean, unless you want to buy a whole Hilton or Starwood Hotel, I mean, you can't live on yeah. Waikiki Beach. Yeah. So I don't understand why the rents would be $1,600 here, though. It just doesn't meet. Have you checked? Have you called and said, what are the rents? No, I haven't. But on, their, um, uh, on the LoopNet listing, it's a mix. It's a mix of studios and, and two bedrooms and one bedrooms. And the average from what they're giving is about 1600 Okay, so I'll just go with your numbers. I don't think it works at 1,500, but 1,500 times 21 units uh, equals uh, 1,500 times 21, 1,500 times 21 times 12 equals $378,000 a year in gross income if you keep them full. Right. Your, your, your taxes, uh, I don't know how expensive taxes are over there, but I expect they're crazy. Uh, this says this is a 2.88 cap, so 2.888 times $8 million. It says the property is going to make, the NOI on the property is 230000 That's the NOI, okay? Mm -hmm. So it's saying this is the 230 is the NOI. I can just put this right here, not here. That, that means my expenses are right here, okay? So this is my gross rent. This is my NOI. This is a really important number to know NOI. Okay, now <clears throat> you're going to get a loan on this. What are you, what are you going to finance on this deal, you think? Um, maybe six. Yeah, maybe six, six million dollars. Let's say six million dollars times 0 0.0325. That's the interest rate. So that's 195,000 in debt. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work, man. The bank's going to say, no, bro, we need 50% down on this deal. They're going to probably right. That's what I'm thinking. And most, huh? Yeah, and most, most places in Hawaii are like that. You know what I mean? Like there's not a lot of cash flow opportunities here. It's mostly people are banking on appreciation. Yeah, so, I understand. But the bank's still going to penalize you. So they're going to be like. Right. 
Uh, yeah, four million dollars. Four million dollars is going to cost you four million. I like this deal, though. I got to tell you, man. I, I, I would, would love the deal. I, 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 I would. There's a Whole Foods two, two minutes away from there. I'm telling you, like the, 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 these rents should be three I love grand. This place. Let's go to Hawaii, Johnny. Times. What are you in my real estate club? Let me know when you guys come to Hawaii. <laughs> hey, are you are you in my real estate club? I'm not. Dude, I'm you ought to get in my real estate club. club, bro. This is where we do our deals, man. So every gotcha. Wednesday, for all of you out there, every Wednesday we meet on a, a Zoom call 50 times a year. Plus, I do three events every year that are live. Our next event is when, Johnny? December uh, 14th. Three days in Miami, and then we do two more each year. So our club, uh, to join the club, is grantcardone.com forward slash club. Grantcardone.com forward slash club. <clears throat> okay, back to the deal. So if you finance $4 million here, if you have that, $4 million times 0 0.0. I'm going to get an interest-only loan here, probably at 3%. Um, my debt's going to be $120,000, and you're going to make $110,000 on a $4 million down payment. If the rents don't change, this is com completely considering the rents as they are, 110000 right. divided by $4 million. I should be able to do this by... So you're going to earn 2.75%. And you're like, man, that's not a good deal. But if I can change the rents, watch. I take 21 units. What do you think you have to do there to, change, to, to raise the rents? Um, I could, you could probably do a lot to change the rents. It could, it could go through a makeover. Yeah. So 21, if I could change the rents, 1000 bucks, I go from 1600 to 2600 Right. Those rents are twenty six hundred here, here, like here. We're not Hawaii, I, you know. We're, we're we're Miami. I mean, Hawaii is Hawaii, right? So, twenty six hundred gotcha. times twelve times my my gross income went up. My gross income went to six hundred fifty two thousand dollars, doubled. So I end up with two hundred and fifty thousand dollars more NOI down here. So now I got three sixty of uh, cash flow, three sixty divided by the same four million. Watch what just happened. <clears throat> I just took it to a nine percent return, and I own property in Hawaii. You should join my club, bro. I bet you we could raise that money there. I can't promise you we could, mm -hmm. but okay. The only people that are buying Hawaii are the people that live in Hawaii. I can't buy Hawaii from Miami without having somebody on the ground there. How do you right, say exactly. F-U in a Hawaiian, man? How do you say F-U in Hawaii? Um, I don't know if there's a way to say it. <laughs> yeah, there is. There we're, is. We're, pretty, we're, pretty, we're pretty happy people, you know, so I mean. Okay. Don't throw around, around the word too often. How do you say, <laughs> how do you say uh, I love you in Hawaiian? Um, aloha. Aloha, like aloha, what you hear in aloha, Val Yahweh. Uh huh. Can you turn them on? That's what I'm gonna say. That's what I'm gonna say to you. And if you don't do this deal, figure this deal out and raise those rents, okay? Gotcha. Thank you. I don't know how to say that, it. but. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm such a child. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Or you could say this. Love you. Love you. Same thing. It's the same exact, by the way, it's the same exact <laughs> same. Okay. Let's talk to our next caller. We're analyzing deals for beginners. Folks, this is not complicated. Don't overcomplicate the deal. Okay. You find a place for $120,000 and you want to buy it. And you know the rents are going to be $1,200 a month. That's the 1% rule. You ought to really figure out how to buy that deal because you're probably going to make 8, 10, 12% on your money. If you could improve it, you could make 12, 15% on your money. All right, we got Deb in Houston. Deb, how hey, you Grant. doing? It's great talking to you, man. Good talking to you. Is it Deb? Yes, sir. We need it's more Deb. women callers, by the way. Women, women are great investors. Um, 
quick question for you, sir. I wanted you to analyze a deal in Houston, Texas. Let's go. This is 735 West C-A-V-A-L. Seven three five seven. Hang on, seven three five West. Yes, Cavalcade. That's C A V A L C A D E. Going too fast, man. K A L K A. No, it's C A V. Oh yeah. A L C A D. Calabero, Caballero. No, Cava Cavagal. G C A B. No, C A V. A L. C A D. Seven three five West Cavalcade. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Cavalcade. Why didn't you just say that? Why didn't you just say that from the get go, man? Why you got to make it so hard on me? <laughs> okay. This is a multifamily deal. Yes, sir. 24 units. 24 units. Uh, Two-story. What's the location like? It's beautiful, man. It's about eight minutes from the Heights uh, that you just bought, the uh, 10, yep. uh, 10X Living. Yep. Oh, this is Greater um, Heights, n- huh? Built in 1970. Right. Everybody wants to be in the, the Heights. The rents are currently around $850. Okay. So we got how many units here? This is 24 units. Okay. So 24 units at $850 a month? Yes, sir. At $850 a month. So let's do our gross rent. Our gross rent on this is going to be uh, 24 times $850. 24 times $850 times $850 times 12 is $40,800. Do you know how occupied they are right now? Yes, sir, at 100% is what they say. Good, so we're gonna use 95%, $38,760, okay? You're gonna have expenses on this property at least 40%, trust me, at least 40%, but you're gonna manage this yourself, I would expect, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so we're gonna take we're going to take 38,760 times uh, 0.40, and that's going to be $15,500. So you have a little money to pay yourself for management, and you're going to have $23,200 in NOI. The NOI is what your bank is going to determine how much money they can lend you on this deal. They want how much for the, for the property. So it's actually unpriced right now, but the current NOI that they have is $78,000. Oh, okay. So I did something wrong. So you have how many units? It's 24 units times $850 times 12 is $244,000. Yeah, you're right, man. You're right. $245,000 in gross. I I, I dropped a zero. 245, 245 times 0.40 is... Well, let me take off 5% for this. I'm going to take $10,000 off for vacancy, and I'm going to take another $98,000 off for expenses. What, what NOI did they show you? Um, NOI. Oh, yeah, $78,000. Oh, really? They showed $78,000 yes, in NOI? Yes, sir. Huh. 245 times 0.40. That's, I believe that's, it's because of the taxes. The that's taxes expenses. are over um, $50,000. Yeah, they got $50,000 for, 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 uh, for taxes, huh? Yes, sir. Uh, 2.24%. Yeah, it won't be that high. That's not true. That's, that, that, that's wrong. I don't know who, who, who fi- figured that in there, but there'll be maybe 90% of that. Harris County is a bitch, though. Um, Brent... Uh, You like this location, huh? I, I really do, and, and I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to work out on a deal that I can bring in investors where I can um, pay them a 10% for their money. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, they're saying the rents are eight forty seven thirteen. Uh, how far is it from my property? You know. Yeah, I do. I, I searched this up. Thirty. Uh, it's about eight minutes away. Okay. So let me just see here. Two forty five 
times 0 0.95. It's $232,000 a year. Okay, that's right, 232 a year times, let's go 50%. I still got $116,000 of NOI. I don't, I don't know how they're bashing this NOI so hard. I don't believe that. I believe that they're, 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 they're stealing from the property. That's what I believe. I believe the management company is stealing 40 grand. There's, pro there's probably a, a guy that owns the property and does not want to show uh, income from the property. So he basically pays a bunch of people that live with him fees so they he could pay his kid a management fee of 40 grand a year and not pay income on it because this thing should yeah, understood you see what i'm saying so yeah i do i do uh could do you mind taking a look at the location and just overall just seeing what would well you i don't like the schools i don't like this yeah i don't like the schools i don't like there's a lot of parking lot on this thing there's a lot of stuff that you can't fix on this without spending a lot of money so um, let me just look at the location. Let's see. Uh, we do this show every Monday, by the way, folks. If you have a deal, you want to call me with your deal. Um, and if you like this kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe to the channel and comment. Uh, we do this in real time. I do no preparation on it. People call in, tell me about their deal. So he's asking me about the location of this property. So Lincoln Heights, is this, is this the Heights proper? I don't think so. I don't think this is the proper. This is the Greater Heights. This is what? The Greater Heights. The Greater Heights. Let me ask my guy. Let me ask my guy real quick. This is the value of being in a club too. Let's see. How many callers you got left, Johnny? We got four callers left. God dang. Actually, we got three callers, I'm sorry. Okay. Let me ask. Let me. Let me ask this guy if he knows where this is. And then I want to go to directions. What's the name of the property I just bought over there? 10X Living. Yeah, yeah, you're right in it, bro. You're, you're right in it. I mean, you're off, you're off to the edges here. Uh, yep. You got the collection and water, waterworks. Let me see. Waterworks. What, and then also, could you let me know what offer you'd put in for this deal? Yeah, so, uh, I mean, look, based on this NOI that I'm seeing, they're showing 78000 as an NOI divided by 0.07. I mean, you know, once you offer them, uh, you have no idea what they want, huh? Um, I can tell you that last year it was assessed at tax value um, of $2 million. Yeah, okay. I'm going to use my NOI, 116, divided by 0 0.06. You know, yeah, it's worth $2 million all day. $2 million divided by 24 units? Yes, sir. All day long, bro. That's 80000 a unit. You, if you can buy that for 80000 a unit, I'll find, I'll, find, uh, I'll find five people that buy the whole thing with you. What price? No, no. So, what price? Uh, what price would you say is a fair offer if it's at two point five million or whatever? Because this was last year, right? With yeah, the, I mean, uh, current growth that we have, it's obviously going to be like two point four, two point five. How much are the rents? Right now, they're uh, eight hundred fifty dollars, and they they're saying that there's definitely a four hundred dollar ad right there. Yeah, I believe that. I believe that. Uh, you know, you could you could offer you could offer. Uh, Two 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 point four million easily. You're going to put six hundred thousand dollars down. The way this deal is going to work, two point four million. You're going to put six hundred thousand dollars down. I mean, there's no property. The market he's in, there's just no property. If you want to live in the Heights, there's no place to go there. there outside of that, you're going back to Houston. So you're going to finance one point eight million dollars. You're going to get a good Fannie Mae loan on this, 1.8 million times 0 
you're going to pay six sixty three thousand dollars a year in in um, in debt, interest only, interest only for probably three years, and you're going to you're going to basically get fifty thousand dollars. Fifty thousand uh, uh, dollars cash flow. It's a nine. It's an eight or nine percent return on your investment without you spending any money on the property. Okay, let's That's talk to our next caller. Years. That's what I would do. But all of you out there, all of you out there that are trying to find deals, you're finding deals in your local market, and you're not sure, not sure where to get the debt, not sure where to get the down payment. Dude, join my club, GrantCardone.com forward slash club. Get to be part of the club. You're getting around investors and guys that are lending money on deals. Every week we meet, three times a year we meet in person. Every week we meet on a Zoom call to discuss your deals. Every Three times a year we meet in person in Miami. Our next conference, by the way, is included when you sign up. GrantCardone.com forward slash club. December 13th through the 15th. December 13th, 14th, and 15th in Miami, and you come VIP. I think that's right. So, And you get the calls every week. So don't, don't miss that. Like if you're trying to buy deals and you're like, I want to do this, but I don't have the money, don't have the debt. There's people on these calls that have the money and have the debt. Trust me, that's what they're coming to the calls for. I share my deals sometimes, but most of the time they're sharing all their deals. Okay, next caller. All right, we got Ariel from Israel. Ariel from the Israel. Man, I want to come to Israel so bad, Ariel. Yeah, it's crazy here. The weather right now, it's crazy. Beautiful, huh? Yeah, how are you doing? Good, brother. Good. I yeah. got a lot. Of, I got a lot of friends over there. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Especially right now, the question that I have for for you is uh, because the regulations lately, many regulations that the banks and like it's very hard to finance a deal, even if you have properties and even if you have like everything. It's really crazy to like to finance a deal here, and I don't know if it's. There is kind of tricks that you can make, or maybe the best solution is to go to the United States, like yes. to invest in the United States. One thousand percent. The best solution is for your money to come to the United States of America. This will always continue until something disastrous happens. I mean, I'm looking at your map right now. Okay, you got Lebanon north of you, Damascus, Jordan, like Cairo around you. I mean, this is like the gateway of the universe, and with that gateway, yeah. Like, you see where you guys, you know you where you're located. There's a reason why you got all that, that port right there is what they want. And Yeah, I mean. Uh, let me just bring you to another little I place don't. on the planet, okay? Here's a place all the way over here. Ain't nobody fucking with us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, the it's Mexicans the, tried and the Canadians can't even get it up. Look where yeah, we're at, guys. Crazy. Look where we're at. I mean, the biggest, <laughs> the biggest threat we got is Cuba. That looks like a little sardine down there. And now with all the COVID-19 and all that stuff, of course, they're going to increase the regulations. And they, they will not, they are starting to lock the banks, especially because of the, the uh, international debt. Look I at think this. that it's related to it. The, a lot of us in America don't understand why there's so much turmoil over there. If you guys just look at this map, you'll understand why. All these little tiny countries, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I only went out two inches. Okay, let me bring you back over here. One, yeah. two, three. Uh, okay, and we control the guys to the north of us and the guys to the south of us. That's why this will always, so, so always, I mean, uh, this will always be the best game in the world. You know, you know, so is there any plan? You know, yeah, 70 maybe 80 percent of the time when I borrow money for my real estate deal, guess who's giving me that money? Jay Z talks about it on on uh, on uh, the Blueprint album. Why why the Jews own all the property? <laughs> <laughs> they do. So, so basically, I get most of my debt comes from Jewish companies, Jewish based companies. <laughs> So congratulations, man. You guys know the money game. So what's your yeah, question? I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah so, so basically I wanted to know, is there any, any kind of a plan that we can like put the money on? I'll tell you what, we, we mostly do like marketing and, and you know, I remember you, uh, I, I watch your videos a lot from the sales. Uh, I mean, I learned a lot from you. Yeah. And, uh, 
and now we want to do something with the money. Now, real estate is not in the equation because of the, like, it's in the, in the peak. You see the NASDAQ composite and everything is going to crash somehow. Yeah. I'm sure that soon, soon it's going to crash. And yeah. The question is if it's going to ha happen also in the, in the real estate um, market. Cause, yeah. You know, the, the interest rates and everything, it's not sure right now. Yeah. Let me explain to you why the real estate I'm buying will not crash. This should be a little blurb. In, it, we should just cut this space, okay? <coughs> Let me tell you why real estate will not crash. Okay, number one, the real estate I'm buying will not crash. Houses will crash. Single-family homes could crash. I don't think they will. They could. What I am buying cannot crash. Number one, it provides cash flow at a time where nothing provides cash flow. General Motors, Tesla, Apple. Apple's dividend is 0.0%. Four percent. They're they're paying four tenths of one percent as a dividend. That means I got to invest in it. If I'm 75 years old, I got to invest in in Apple. Cross my fingers. Facebook doesn't pay a dividend. If it does, it pays a little tiny dividend, right? Um, all the big companies, the General Motors and the Fords and the AT and T. I think AT and T pays a six percent dividend. That's a big deal, man. With very little yeah. opportunity to for 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 any uh, uh, positive. Our average deal pays four, six, eight percent. Okay. Plus, I get the appreciation from these properties, and I get the depreciation of these properties, and I get the reduction of my principal pay down. Okay. Now, if inflation hits, okay. like you guys are probably concerned about, what if inflation hits? If inflation hits these single-family homes, then this home that was three hundred grand now goes to four hundred grand, and it gets out of reach for the uh, for the for the average home buyer, which pushes more people to rental property. Uh, and this is I'm showing on my screen. This is the comment I was making about most of my money comes from Jewish groups. This is a group that gave me a loan for one hundred and five million dollars called the Meridian Group. Big shout out to Israel, David Cohen and Mark, uh, my friends over at Meridian Capital Group. You know, they're a bunch of Israeli guys that lend money on real estate deals. And they love South Florida. As a real estate, they, they love it. They don't love New York so much or New Jersey because of all the turmoil there. So I would just tell you that if, if there was a cataclysm in the world, if inflation goes, right. if inflation hits this, these real estate assets, interest rates go up, okay? If interest rates on a house, let's say the average home in America is 400 grand. I don't know if, if that's true or not. It's probably less than that. And the interest rate on that home today is 2.5%. And let's say that interest right. rate goes to 6%. Okay, that means that, means that this guy's payment went up 2.5 times. His $600,000 payment went from $3,300 a month to $8,250 a month. You think he's going to change his mind about buying a house? Uh, I think he might. What's going to happen to my rent? My rent that was twenty six hundred bucks is going to go to five thousand, and it's going to look like a deal. I go tonight and it, I go to sleep at night. Please, interest rates, please, please, bring it on. So it can't hurt me. It can't hurt me there. Okay. Let's say there's a North Korean, uh, a COVID Delta Wuhan, and the North Koreans get together and they're like, "Hey, we're going to go ahead and put, we're going to go ahead and roll out." Uh, What's it called? Uh, yeah, by the way, the COVID-19, they played a nice trick on everybody. I don't believe in, in this. I didn't take the vaccines and everything, but they, the, the one that planned that is, is a genius. Yeah, I mean, you, you said it was a plan. Everybody. You said it was a plan. I didn't, because if I do, they're going to shut my channel down, okay? But, but if, you, if you guys, like if any of you out there believe, believe in any of the stuff that's going on out there as, you know, as a plan, see, Jewish people, they, they, they've been around long enough to be like, hmm, I'm kind of suspect of this. Let's get back to the Jewish Okay. You're like, hey, man, don't shut my YouTube channel down, man. Why you got to bring that stuff up? <laughs> but, but any of you out there, <laughs> like, like, you know, <laughs> Johnny's like, let's get back to the real estate. You know, event 201, like any of that stuff. You guys have ever studied any of that stuff before. You're like, P 
People got to live someplace, man. We collected 98.5% of the 95%, 95% of the people that occupies our properties. 98.5% paid their rent through COVID. We had better collections through COVID than we had the year before COVID. So it's, it's not true. Like, uh, people got to live someplace, man. They drank a lot of water and, and bought a lot of toilet paper, too. They rented a bunch of Netflix. You guys need to be invested in stuff that can't be destroyed. So I would just tell you guys over there, the best deal in the world, folks, is America. I don't care how many problems we got, how many bad uh, presidents we have. This is the best. You look at a damn map, and America is still the best yeah, deal. Yeah, I mean, uh, also, yeah. logically, when, when you look at the map, uh, there is so much space there that, that even if you take a, like an empty space, Space and create something huge. You can you can make something, but here, like we don't we don't even have space. You know, we are starting to to destroy houses and build them up. Yeah, uh, in buildings. So, yeah, so, so you're going to yeah. go vertical. Basically, you're going to tear stuff down there, and you're going to go vertical, right? Doing here uh, the way they do that here is terrible. They do that like uh, they come, they destroy one place, and then they tell everybody, look. We need to evacuate everybody. We need to build another another building. Yeah. And they do that uh, in purpose. Yeah, I'm with you. You know, look what they're doing. Look what they're doing in China. They overbuilt China so big. Look, did y'all see this video? I don't, I don't know if this is going to show here, but man, I hate watching ads on YouTube. We should start running ads on YouTube. I can make two or three million bucks a year running ads on YouTube. You know what, guys? We already do. We do? No, we don't. Johnny, that's a non-monetized channel, man. No, no, we do. Look, look at this. Look at this video right here. This is, this is, they overbuilt China. Why can't you show this? Why can't they see this? Can you see this, Johnny? Can you take it off the full screen? Sure. Huh. Is it because it's video? Oh, that's a shame, man. Okay. So, look, we do this every Monday, guys. Please come back to us every Monday. If you like this channel, if you got something out of the show today, uh, my name's Grant Cardone. I've been buying real estate for 35 years. I was 28 years old when I bought my first deal. It was simple for me. Okay. The payments were 300 bucks a month. The payments on the mortgage were 300 bucks a month, and I could collect $500. I'm like, I'm making 200 bucks, dude. This is a gift. Some of you like $200 is nothing. It's something to me. 200 times 12 is 24 times 10 is 20, 24,000. If I could keep that one piece of property for 10 years without rents ever going up. Basically, what I, the way I analyzed my deal was my, my payments were 300. My rent was 500. Okay, this is my debt. My debt payment. This is the rent collected. I'm making 200 bucks a month. Man, $200 for me, when I was making three grand a month, 200 bucks a month extra was a lot of money to me. A lot of you don't appreciate 200 bucks. That's why you never get rich, because you don't appreciate anything. You're like, ah, it's only $200. Okay, well, you're not going to get rich if you say it's just 200 because you're never going to get started. Times 12 months, 200 times 12 is $2,400 a year. That was 2400 by the way that I made every single year because I sat and signed some damn documents that said I own something. I only put three, three grand down. I put $3,000 down as a down payment and I earned 2,400 bucks. I'm like, this is stupid not to do. I earned 80% on my money in the first year. If I could do this for 10 years, I would own 20, I would have $24,000 worth of income. I put three grand down, which is eight times my money. That's the simple way to figure out the real estate game. And that's one property. What if I do that 10 times? That's the way I always thought about it. If I do it one time, that's 24 grand a year, okay? Or 24 grand in 10 years without rent increases. If I can do it 10 times, it's 24 grand in one year times 10. Now I got $240,000, okay? More importantly, I was paid a quarter of a million dollars my down payment was 3,000 times 10. Remember, I would do this 10 times. I put 30 grand over a few years, $30,000 to buy what? $800,000 worth of real estate. 
Okay, I own $800,000 worth of real estate that would pay me $240,000 a year in income. And if I just keep doing this, 10 years, bang, 10 years goes by really quest. I go from being 28 to 38, I look up one day, I got a million dollars worth of property, but more importantly, I got income coming in every year that I don't have to kill myself for. I'm trying to help you analyze real estate, okay? Look, there's risk in everything. There's more risk, however, in sitting on the sidelines than there is in getting in the game. You can't get in the game if you don't know what you're looking for. If you don't know the terminology, if you don't know what a good location is, if you don't know cash flow, don't know how to get a loan, don't know how to get the down payment, let somebody help you. I'm trying to help you here, okay? We do this show every Monday. Wednesday, we do a real estate club. If you want to be part of that club, that's a, that's a $75,000 club. I think it's on sale right now for a third off before the end of the year, grantcardone.com forward slash club. If you don't have any money right now, and you don't want to be involved in the club, and you can't make that kind of commitment right now, and you can't buy your deal because you don't know what you're doing, go to grantcardone.com forward slash REI, grantcardone.com forward slash REI, and there's a three-hour training where I'm going to go over all the terms, where to get started, what to look for, how to analyze, how to estimate, how to figure out what the debt's going to be, where to go to get the debt. I'll share everything with you over three hours. It's completely free, no strings attached, nothing to purchase. That's grantcardone.com forward slash REI. I am doing for you what I wish somebody would have done for me. If you know what you're doing, you can go do something. When you don't know and aren't sure, you won't move. And I don't blame you. So if you don't know and you're not sure, you're not going to make the move. H have somebody help you. Hold your hand if necessary. Clear the terminology with you. Show you exactly what the deal looks like. So if you go to grantcardone.com forward slash REI, I think that's the website, right, Johnny? Yes, sir. This is free, completely free, folks. Cost you nothing. Oops, REI, that's for real estate investment. Three hour training, you register there, I send you the training, you watch it. We normally sell that, tell you what I'm gonna do, Johnny, let's take that down Wednesday, 72 hours to view it, pay attention to it, get on it right now, use it for free. Uh, if you wanna join my club, it's grantcardone.com forward slash club. This is for serious real estate investors. This is a $25,000 purchase. This is not cheap, but I'm going to connect you with people, 150 people every week meet with me, review their, they call in, we look at their deals, they explain the deal, they explain the location, they explain the debt, they tell us what their problems are. I can't get the debt or I can't get the down payment or I, I can get this much money. So we actually share amongst 150 investors and lenders uh, the deals, the locations, and the opportunities. You get to pitch your deal there, basically, okay? Three times a year, three times a year, we meet in person. I'll be at every one of those meetings. Our next one's December 13th, 14th, and 15th. A seat at each one of those is included in that, and I'd love to have you involved. I'd love to get you involved in the real estate game. I'm only doing for, for you what, what I, would, I wished other people would do for me is give, give me opportunities to get in a room where people are actually doing deals. So I know what a good deal looks like. Because if you don't know what it looks like, you just don't know what it looks like, okay? Thanks today for uh, uh, being here. Uh, the YouTube channel is completely free. Subscribe. You'll always know when I'm coming live. I've done all kind of crazy stuff on YouTube to bring you guys entertainment. Uh, we've interviewed, uh, we interviewed uh, people, everything from the COVID thing to, uh, who did I have last week? Dude, we had pro athletes. Dude. Professional athletes, rappers, uh, ball players. I had Magic Johnson one week. Uh, uh, Kevin O'Leary, like you name it, like I've done it on here. We've had Kevin Hart, uh, Dana White, uh, Floyd Mayweather. Just a list of great, unbelievable, successful people. We'll continue to bring that kind of content to this channel. By the way, ad free. You ain't got to watch no ads here. Okay, thank you for being here today. God bless you. Be great. And remember, man, you can't create wealth working. You can only create wealth investing. You got to learn how to invest your money so that it grows up and takes care of you.